great combination of size and speed. It's the speed on display here. Jamal makes the grab and it's a touchdown. I cannot believe what I just saw. Welcome to the Deseret News Rewind's coverage of the 4A championship game, the Springville Red Devils and the East Leopards. This is a matchup as a semifinal game from a year ago, and it was all East in that ball game. Johnny Lang ran up and down the field all over the undefeated Springville Red Devils, while well, Springville got themselves back to this game of the dominating win over Alta last week, which you saw right here on our 4A game of the week. They were ready to take on the East Leopards. East down Ben Ford. How much of a difference would there be at quarterback? Coach Maddich said there wouldn't be one, but would there really? And could Jalen Warren get over 3,000 yards? How long would it take him? We think he would get it done. And the East Leopards as a team were going for 7,000 yards and also looking for a back-to-back -back state championship. Springville said they were ready for this one. They said they wouldn't be caught off guard with the East attack. Well, there's always a plan until the plan, well, it meets Jalen Warren. Nice first play from Warren. And then the Leopards jump out 7-0 just like that. First Springfield drive. Pressure gets home. Jordan Olahia adds to his state-leading sack total. East wouldn't waste time. Hey, Charlie, do you ever sprint? Uh, most of the time I'm going full speed, but there'll be a few where I'm not. <laughs> he says he does, but I don't believe him. 14-0 East. Springville isn't undefeated for nothing, folks. Thorpe, hit out of bounds, add 15 yards to it. Then Thorpe hits Seth Mortensen along the sideline to move the chains. Kelo Polo was held in check all night. And it's now fourth and four for the Red Devils. Springville goes for it. Thorpe, quick hitter to Ben Schreiner. Fresh set of downs for Springville. The drive will continue into the second quarter where Thorpe threads one into Bennett Hollinger, and it's 14 to seven. The East machine would just keep running. Warren with another chunk run. He had 91 yards in the first half. Nick Harris follows Warren for another long East run. Then you have to deal with the edges. Nice juke. Sione Molisi gets in from 20 yards out. The point after no good, and it's 20-7 Leopards. Springville trying to keep pace. Thorpe going deep, but Ed Owadi playing center field. And he plays it well. Breaks up the deep ball. Tyler Etowati gets rewarded on offense. Quick hitter from Harris. And Tyler makes something happen down the sideline. Here's a nice read from Harris. And he gets a ball just across the plane. And just like that, it's 27-7 East. This, this whole season I've been told just be ready. Just it's constant be ready. And coming in this week is just a little... I felt a little of a burden lifted off because I took it seriously during the season. Springville knew they'd have to throw the rest of the way. Thorpe the Hollinger for a third down conversion. Then Thorpe hooks up with Mortensen for another chain moving grab. Is it the throw? Was it the catch? Who cares? It was a great throw and a terrific grab by Mortensen. The point after is blocked and it's 27 to 13. Here is an East miscue. Ball off of Warren's hip, and it's recovered by the Red Devils. But the East D would come up big. Fourth down, the pressure gets home. Thorpe goes down, and it's 27-13 Leopards at the half. Second half does not start out well for Springville. East gets to the punt. Then Jalen Warren makes it a three-score game just like that 34 to 13 leopards again folks the red devils won't just go away thorpe to a wide open ty erickson and springville's in business but the drive would stall another fourth down thorpe to mortensen but he's a yard short turnover on downs is east football and on this play 
Jalen Warren becomes the first player in Utah history to rush for 3,000 yards in a single season. Eastwood recover the fumble. Next play, Jalen adds to the total here. And it looks like East is going to put this one to bed. But they would leave the door open eh, just a little bit. Springville recovers the fumble. Hollinger made big plays for Thorpe all night long. A nice play on this 44-yard catch and run. Thorpe again scrambles, finds Jackson Child for the first down. Start of the fourth quarter. Thorpe sneaks it in from one yard out and it's 34 to 20. Springville would have a chance to get within one score, but East wouldn't let it happen. Later in the fourth quarter, Jalen Warren with his third touchdown, ties a state record with rushing touchdowns in his season with 38. Oh, it's my lineman, my O-line. They did it all. And the East Leopards are back-to-back -back 4A state champs. We can't say it well enough. Let's just let them say it. Well, I, I told you guys that we <laughs> you guys were a little worried. You know, thought the world had caved in on the East High Leopards, <laughs> Dusty and, and uh, Dane. I, I think that uh, we, we knew what we had in our program. We knew that uh, the, pro, the kids that we had running, thank you, running quarterback, uh, could come in and do a good job. And, and yes, losing Ben was bad. But we know our guys, and we thought we knew our guys would step up and do the job. All that doubt built, it, built up against us, like, really just motivated us even harder, work harder in practice, run harder, play harder, hit harder, hit harder than everyone we play. It's just that's how we that's how we won our games. It feels great. This is what we this is what we work for in the summer. All summer workouts, all the condition, all the lifting. This is exactly what we work for. Another matchup, another dominating win for the East Leopards. Back-to-back 4A -back state championships. And you saw Coach Maddich there. He never doubted for a moment that Nick Harris would come into this game and play well. And he played well. And uh, really got an opportunity to turn around and hand the ball off to Jalen Warren. And he talked about it, how great it was. It was kind of awesome for, as he said, awesome to watch Jalen do his thing. Got over 3,000 yards rushing in a season. That is outstanding. There's teams in this state that didn't run for 3,000 yards as a team, and he got it done as, a, as one person. That is just absolutely amazing for Jalen Warren. As we mentioned, uh, the East Leopards rushed for over 7,000 yards as a team in the year, just dominating. And you can go watch our recap. Dane Stewart and I talk about uh, what happened in this game as Dane runs off all the tie, all the records rather that uh, the East broke this this game and this season. Uh, just a, a magical year for the East Leopards and things are going to be changing with realignment and things but one thing we know is the East has a lot of talent coming back and for Springville I mean it's heartbreak. Last Only lost two games in the last two seasons both of which are to East and, and both of which are kind of I mean they were in some of the in the game at one point just couldn't quite get over the get over the hump and make them one possession games and for uh, Jansen Thorpe and, and Peyton Kelopolo and Nicole Bowers and guys that we've been able to watch the last couple of years I mean these are kids that, uh, that play very, very well played with a lot of heart and a lot of effort and it's tough to see them go in a fashion like this but uh, when you look at East, this is a team that has just built a culture. Uh, Coach Maddich came in, took over this team, it built a culture and it's a championship culture and now they have back-to-back -back state championships to boot and another impressive, impressive win and an impressive year for Coach Maddich and the East Leopards. East Leopards. Congratulations on the East Leopards of winning back-to-back -back for state championships.